Get in here and go. Listen, what I got to say is the truth. Every blessed word of it. From Genesee on down to Revelation. Oh, Big Dan. <laughs> it's all about the money, boys. See you in the funny paper. <laughs> Welcome back to Pipecast. On this episode, we'll be covering Early Morning Pipe by Peterson. Let's look at that blend. All right. Here we have Peterson's Early Morning Pipe, formerly Dunhill. Now, what it is comprised of is uh, Red Virginia, Bright Virginia, Latakia, and Orientals. Um, now, this is, uh, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's an early morning pipe. It's a lighter English. Um, so, you know, it, it's going to be lighter on that Latakia. Um, however, you know, there's still a pretty good amount of, uh, of dark in here. There's, I mean, um, you know, it, it's, I mean, even comparing back to Bob's Chocolate, I mean, it look you know, Bob's Chocolate has 8%. So this definitely has more than that. Uh, or at least it seems to me just based on looking at it. Um, again, like I said in, in others, it's kind of hard to differentiate Bright Virginia and uh, Oriental a lot of the times. Um, so, you know, I can kind of see some of that red poking through here and there. Uh, and then, I mean, the rest is a crapshoot as far as whether it's Bright Virginia or Oriental. Now, this is stoved as well after it's been blended. So, um, that, that can have an effect on how the Virginia and all the other leaves color. Um, but yeah, it, it, you know, it seems to be relatively balanced. I mean, it's, you know, for every bright leaf I see, I see another dark one and then, you know, mix in there's a lot of that, that medium brown. So, uh, let's get over there and see how it smokes. All right. That was the blend. So Zach, this is your favorite blend, is it not? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I have a weird mixed background with early morning pipe i there was a time where i hated it then there was a time where i really loved it oh really, really loved it uh, and then it was weird it's like it i either got sick or something made me sick and i was smoking it and then i couldn't disassociate the flavors that had come or, from early morning pipe yeah. with being sick so yeah. i couldn't smoke it for a long time it's really weird it's, it's kind of like if you're eating fast food and you got Mm -hmm. stomach ache or something and you just you're like well I'm just going to associate that food with that forever happened with pecans for me for a while and um, so for the longest time I never smoked early morning pipe and I don't know what it was it just didn't I I just couldn't handle it but it didn't matter because along the way I had smoked uh, Chelsea Morning which ended yeah. up being what I consider my high end uh, morning blend which yeah. is more like Latakia <laughs> Which always bothered me. I never liked the idea of having a light Latakia in the morning. To me, it seems like an evening blend serves itself to be more light, <laughs> and a, a morning blend to me stronger. But I guess maybe that's... Because you want the coffee. The coffee yeah, I, the... I like a stronger coffee, you mm -hmm. know? Um, that That's definitely the interpretation I had for the longest time. Um, now, I'm not so much into that at all. I, I'm more of a Virginia in the morning smoker. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of, I mean, that's, if you're talking about true kind of heaviness as far as, like, nicotine's concerned, 
Burley, Virginia or something like that is probably going to be yeah. what you're going to want with a cup of coffee. And it seems to pair well with a cup of coffee. But, you know, I digress a little bit. Chelsea Morning ended up being the staple. But on my return to early morning pipe, and I, I've been over for a long time that um, that sort of queasy, sicky feeling that I get when I smoke early morning, that's been gone for years now. But at the time, at like a few more years, like a decade or so ago, it was weird. I had a lot of mixed feelings about early morning. So anyway, with this uh, blend, you know, it, it's pretty good. It's um, it's it has all the the good qualities of uh, of a Latakia that is robust, but not in large portions. Yeah, um, it's creamy. It does pair well with coffee. So I mean, it doesn't. It's not something that's bad, in my opinion, as far as like if you wanted to. Uh, pair it with a breakfast of some sort Um, uh, because everything feels like it's very heavy at breakfast coffee is also very heavy to me like uh, as a drink even if you put half and half in it or or, or like a sweetener and you Mm -hmm. cream it up coffee still has a it's a very it's a robust drink regardless of what you do to it it's still pretty robust yeah Um, and it's nice to have it's nice to have this sort of lightish Latakia Um, that has a creaminess to it. This does feel like really dark, strong coffee with half and half in it. That's what early morning reminds me of. And it's a good blend. So I don't want, I mean, it's not, is it my preferred? No, that would be Chelsea Morning. Yes. Um, And I think Chelsea Morning has a little bit more, I don't know, it just has more going on with it. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe more oriental or something like that. And it just, it just, it, it, all in all, I think it's a, it's a blend that definitely I like the most. But this blend is really good, too. Yeah. I think it's extremely balanced. And I think that, you know, the reason people return to Peterson blends or Dunhill blends, whatever you want to call it, um, is because, you know, they're, they're, they've got just a really good um, blend uh, as far as components are concerned. It's just, it, they're just balanced. They're just, yeah. uh, and they, you when their naming convention says something, you can rely on it. If it says early morning, you know, like, well, it's a lightish, but it's still going to have enough entry to keep you coming back. Yeah. Um, and I, I think it's a good blend. I think it's probably not a blend for the lat bomb lover. Um, if you're super into hard Latakias, this is not probably going to be your cup of tea. But if you're looking for something that... Um, allows the other components to shine. This is it. Yeah. Um, so I never had it. You know, I've had plenty of Nightcap or plenty of Elizabethan, plenty of uh, Flake, Peterson Flake, right? So if you're going through the list of all the different old Dunhills, new Petersons. But I never had early morning. And so the thing about early morning that I like, and I'll keep it short and sweet because, I mean, that's really what it is. I like it a lot because what it feels like to me is nightcap and they took the Perique away and they lightened up the Latakia. It feels very much like it is the same blend as nightcap. They just pulled they pulled some components away, pulled them out or, or backed them off a little bit. And you know, when you're going to and this maybe this is my fault, maybe maybe it's something that I'm doing that's wrong, but when I look at something and I'm like, okay, you have an early morning pipe English and you have one called Nightcap. You're selling me that this that one that these are similar blends. One's for the morning, one's for the evening. Okay. That's how I'm interpreting that. Now, if you didn't mean for that to happen, you shouldn't have named them that way. I'm sorry, but you did. So that's how I'm going to interpret them. GLPs does the same thing. Chelsea Morning, Quiet Nights, same thing. So what I'll say about Early Morning Pipe is because we're kind of comparing it to Nightcap, but we're also kind of comparing it to Chelsea Morning, right? I think the flavoring that I'm getting from an early morning pipe is more my speed. I like the flavoring of early morning pipe more than Chelsea morning because of that exact, what I just said. It feels like it's nightcap, but toned down and, and the Perique's pulled, pulled away. Chelsea morning isn't that way. Chelsea morning does not feel like quiet nights at all. It feels like a completely different blend that they started from the ground floor. They started completely different. And... Should that affect how, you know, my liking of it? No, but it does. And 
But 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 I will say this though, Chelsea Morning is a more well balanced, a more well rounded blend than Early Morning Pipe because Early Morning's Pipe's flavor that I really really like fades away. It doesn't last, and so I would say you know if if you've followed us for a while and you like my opinions or you you agree with my opinions and we have similar tastes, um, I would smoke Early Morning Pipe every time over Chelsea Morning. But it's just to get that like five puffs of something really good, and then and then I'm done. I'm done. I don't need it anymore. Okay. But if it's early morning, it, say it's a Saturday morning, and and I'm alone, maybe, maybe the the family's gone somewhere, and I want to sit and read a book, and I want something like this, then maybe I'll go Chelsea morning because I know it's going to be more well rounded. It's going to last longer. Right. But just that early morning flavor is just so much more what I'm looking for. The the Latakia is. Maybe a little bit more present than Chelsea Morning, and and it's just there's just something in the first five to six puffs of early morning pipe that it's like, man, that is so good, that is really tasty. And Chelsea Morning never does that for me. From the first puff to the last, <laughs> from the first to the last, Chelsea Morning never gets to that flavor that I like. So it's a weird thing. If you want consistency and well balance. And, and, and things like that, then yeah, Chelsea Morning should be your blend. Okay. But, but if you're like me, and you really and you just want a lighter nightcap with no perique. Right. You're only gonna get seven puffs. But uh, I would do early morning pipe every, every time. But that's just me. I mean, I know that's that's a weird thing to say, but it it's kind of up to you. You know, do you want the what's more important, balance or flavor? And that's the two difference between Chelsea Morning and Early Morning Pipe. Yeah. I can see that because I do think Chelsea's probably one of the better balanced uh, early pipes, yeah. Yeah. tobacco you can get. But yeah. um, yeah, I don't, I, like I said, I don't dislike Early Morning Pipe. Yeah. But it's a it's a good indicator of you picking up on stuff, that noting that uh, the Latakia is pulled back and the Perik is withdrawn. Yeah. Well, it, it does kind of have all that characteristic, just yeah. it doesn't have a pepper on it. Exhale and yeah, I don't even think they retro. I mean, hell, and yeah, they don't even talk about it. So it's what is it? Oriental, light and red, Virginias, and Latakia. So yeah, I mean, I, I do think all these early morning pipes are definitely creamier. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, I mean, I think it's it's a good blend. I just I really wish it would last a little bit longer. I wish it was more ba- yeah. more well balanced. Yeah, um, but um. But yeah, I would recommend. I'd recommend giving it a shot if you haven't had it, and especially if you like nightcap. Mm-hmm. If you like nightcap a lot, yeah. or artisans blend, right? Get get you some of that. And yeah, give, yeah. It, give it a shot. Definitely, so, definitely. But uh, yeah, that's early morning pipe. So uh, come back next time, and we'll be covering standard mixture. Standard mixture.